project is a project to develop a gene therapy for a rare uh, metabolic disease of the liver that is called Krieger-Najjar syndrome. My name is Anne-Marie Balk and I work for the Dutch Griechelen Najjar Patient Association. Together with the French and Italian Association, we are the voice of the patients and take care of the dissemination of information about the QCN project. And so QCN is all the activity that will surround this trial to bring this therapy to patients. Uh, all the way to, we hope to be uh, the market approval authorization by the EMA, European Medicine Agency. In Regione, we presented the work we have done and the plans for the new future to reach out to make people aware of this ultra-rare disease. And during this meeting, we met the Italian patients and families and then it was a great opportunity to talk to them and listen to their experiences. The patient organizations and patients have good hopes that the gene therapy trial will be successful. My name is Lorenzo D'Antiga. I am a medical doctor and I look after patients uh, with uh, liver disease. Uh, Krieger-Najjar syndrome is a disease of the liver causing increased bilirubin and jaundice. Uh, we are trying to cure this disease that once was treated by liver transplantation, trying to avoid any surgery and using a new strategy of gene therapy to correct the disease. Our results are, are very promising and we really hope uh, to give help to many patients worldwide affected by this disease. My name is Alessia, I'm 19 years old and uh, I'm affected by krigler najjar disease. I have uh, to bring uh, some medicine and uh, I have to sleep uh, under a, a lamp for uh, eight uh, hours per day, every night. Uh, thanks uh, to my lamp, I can uh, go with my friends uh, at the sea or uh, in, in a, a, an holiday. I'm Gaia. I am 26 years old and I have CNS, um, which means Krieger-Najjar syndrome. It is a very rare disease. It's an enzyme of the liver which doesn't work really, really well. So I have my yellow skin and my yellow eyes because of it doesn't work. Since I was a little girl, I was used to sleep under a blue light, so it was um, unusual for a kid. And it was a kind of difficult situation in some particular event of my life, like when, like when there, there are school holidays that last more than one day. I couldn't go with them because of my phototherapy and it's kind of difficult to bring the phototherapy everywhere and I was a little girl so I didn't want to have all the stuff with me because it's so heavy and so complicated to build and not everyone knows what is it and knows how to, to build it up. The more I get older, the more I accept myself and I go on with my life and, you know, since I'm 26 and I, am, I have lived in this way for my whole life, it's my normality, even if it's not for others, it's mine.
Researchers are studying a gen therapy. Hopefully it, it will work. It's a QRCN uh, project. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I hope I will be uh, take part of it. Um, it's a, a dream to think about my life without phototherapy, you know, to go everywhere without thinking a lamp device, a, a travel device to bring with me, or to think everywhere I can go without thinking about um, how much light and how much sun there will be and if I can go out under the sunshine to light me up, yeah. Mm. And it's, it's great for me because I've always loved to visit so many uh, cities and places but couldn't because of the, the light and it's kind of <laughs> difficult to travel with, with this very big and heavy bag. So I really hope I would be into this project that will change my life completely and um, in a very important and impressive way. Yo tengo... Un... 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 Un...